Hey everyone, uh, I came out today, I wanted to show you all my uh, EDC belt pouch. Although I don't carry it on my belt every day, I keep it in my truck when I go out. If I'm going for a hike in the woods, I'll put it on, or if I'm going to be away from my truck for a while and feel like I might run into a situation where I might need something from this, I'll carry it with me. But it is a little bit bulky, so for that reason it's not on my belt consistently let me just give you a close-up look on uh, what it looks like before we get to the stuff inside of it Okay, so first and foremost, the one thing that's on my belt all the time is my Leatherman. That never leaves my belt when I'm out, that's always on me. Chose the Leatherman Surge, a um, couple of reasons why I prefer it the most. Uh, one of them mainly is because uh, it's four tools you can open from the outside and they all lock nice. Um, it's got a decent sized knife. It's got a nice pair of scissors with a spring on them. The scissors lock too. Everything on the outside locks and the inside. Um, a serrated blade and a little saw, but it actually just takes jigsaw blades. Any jigsaw blade should fit in that. Um, not gonna go over this whole thing in detail, but it's got a full set of pliers and wire snippers on it. Um, can opener and all, uh, screwdriver, uh, bottle opener, it's got all the goodies. Uh, so that stays on my belt all the time. And now for the belt pouch. So there's two things on the outside here. The first one is a uh, unbranded flashlight. I don't have a brand name for it. I picked it up at uh, a store called Sale. Um, it's only only 80 lumens, I believe. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about the things I have on it. It's just to give you an idea of what I carry. It's got a little clip and an angled flashlight, and it works good. So when I have it on my belt and it, I'm wearing it, I can point it in the direction I need it to shine light in. On the other side strapped, I have uh, this inexpensive black ghost knife. It's a folder. It locks nice. Um, it was only like $20, so just for a backup knife on the pouch. And then when you open up the main compartment, first I have the... Uh, container with the ferrocerium rod in it I showed in an earlier video. Uh, it's got the striker, the ferro rod, compass, um, and a little waterproof compartment for tinders. I just carry some tissue paper in it because that makes half decent tinder. And it's got a whistle. Also, I'm missing two things from this belt pouch. One is I usually carry a bundle of 50 feet of paracord and I carry a space blanket, but I left them. I, I walked past a uh, homeless man shelter in an earlier hike I did last week and thought I'd just be nice and leave those behind for him. But I do carry a notepad. Um, carry some wire this is just guitar string uh, could be for anything my idea was for snaring but it could just be for safety wire if you need it in a pinch and then there's lots of space left in the pouch for uh, any other daily items you might need to carry around in this front zipper here it's got a Bic lighter. They're inexpensive and indispensable. I just 
carry them anywhere I can, wherever I can. A little double bladed jackknife. Now, I mainly only use this for whittling wood and small little projects, but <clears throat> it's handy to have. Um, if there are two things I would carry that are redundant with me, there we go. Uh, it would be knives and methods of lighting fires. And lastly, in this little pouch, the other ferrocerium rod I demonstrated in my other video. Carry that with me. Now for the last part of the pouch, you open this flap here. I carry this tin with a heavy duty rubber band over it. And uh, the idea of the tin is uh, to carry these items, obviously, but also if I need to make char cloth or I want to save or store some extra tinder or anything. Uh, a metal tin can be used for so many different uh, applications. Inside it, I carry a candle. I carry some medical tape. I carry some super glue. Just a little tiny uh, tube of super glue. I carry some water purification tablets. I carry some toilet paper. I carry some band-aids. And I carry some tin. All of these contents you see here fit into my little pouch. And uh, that's my EDC belt pouch right there. You can get all of this into it. Everything has a use. So once again, this is everything put into the pouch and tucked away. I'll use my hand for a reference. It's really not too big. It does get annoying if you try to carry it day to day on your belt, but it's handy to just carry with you, keep in the truck. So this is what you're looking at when it's all on your belt. That leather sheath is my Leatherman. I made that sheath because I'm not quite impressed with the uh, nylon sheaths that leather Leatherman give you. As you can see, the EDC belt pouch isn't too big, but it's not something I would want to wear on my belt every day. Uh, although the Leatherman I do carry with me everywhere I go. What I found personally myself was it's all trial and error. I filled that pouch up 50 different times and took it out, pulled stuff out, put things in. I probably still can pull stuff out. I choose not to. Um, there's still lots of room in it. I don't like to jam pack it full so it's bursting at the seams. But I do like to be able to throw my wallet in there if I need to or maybe another item, my phone. Maybe you don't need it at all but you won't know until you create one, take it out with you, practice with it, find out if it becomes a nuisance or if you enjoy having it with you, if it becomes handy. Um, my Leatherman I use on a daily basis, that thing I would never give it up, I would never take it off my belt. Uh, just too many uses and every day I run into a situation where that thing comes in handy. So. Thanks for watching guys, take care. One more thing I forgot to mention as always. Um, a lot of people will tell you, oh, you don't need to carry that. You shouldn't carry that. Oh, you should carry this. Um, that only works for the person themselves. It, you can't really tell someone else what they can and can't or should or shouldn't have because it's all based on the person. If you choose to carry a belt knife over a Leatherman, that's great. That's your choice and it works for you. But for someone who chooses to carry a Leatherman over a knife, that might suit them better. What, whether they choose to carry an EDC belt pouch or whether they choose not to. If they find they're okay without one, then that's great. But as for the contents in one, that's also up to the person. You shouldn't be concerned about what someone else is carrying as it suits them it, it's you're not the one carrying it so 
in reality, it's none of their business. Yes, it's nice to get the constructive criticism and opinions, but there's a fine line between that and somebody trying to drill it into you that you need this or you don't need this or you know what I mean? So just keep that in mind. Don't let someone else's opinions and thoughts trash what you want to do. If you want to carry a belt pouch, and put whatever you want in it. You want to carry marbles in it and chocolate and whatever, go ahead. That's fine, as long as you use those things every day and you find the belt pouch comes in handy for that, wonderful. If you choose not to, then wonderful. That's nobody else's business, so anyways.